All right, chat, what's next, man? What are we doing? First things first, I need you to like the video, subscribe to the page, hit that bell notification for this locker code that we got out. They do have this locker code out here for y'all. Next, rookies in my team. Lock that in. You get you a 99 overall card, you know what I mean? For the free. That's always cool. And you get to pick out of these wild boys here. I don't know any of these kids. I'm not tapped in. Now, I want to see which ones of these next cards are really up next, though. Like, who's him? Who did 2K make him out of? This doesn't look like him. I'm not going to lie to you. Alex Starr does not look like that guy. Nah, I don't know. We're going we gonna to look at that, though. We might do that in this separate video. Who knows? We got to get to some things around here, though. Let's get to it. Kobe. Let's go. Let's, let's get this in real time. I locked that code in. Let's see what NBA rookie, draft rookie, next player I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Definitely, it's a dark matter. They're all darks. Let's flip that bad boy over and see what we get. Who are we working with? I wonder... I want to pull packs for these so bad, but it's no way I'm pulling these packs. There's no way. I was expecting. See, Justin Edwards. Okay, we're going to go see what Justin Edwards is talking about. Bronny James would have made these packs sell for me. I would have went ahead and jumped into these packs for, for what am I talking about? For LeBron James Jr., definitely. I definitely would have did that. But he, since he's not here, I mean, I have no reason. I have no reason. Wait, before we jump into season eight, though, y'all want to see what this boy's talking about? Okay, so... Let's really get into it. What is he moving like? What is he moving like? I'm liking that already. Let me pull up his uh his tail of the tape on 2KDB. Justin Edwards is a 6'8 small forward shooting guard. Shooting guard small forward. But to be a shooting guard at 6'8, he might make my team. I'm not going to lie. Out of these next cards moving into uh season eight, this kid could make my team. And I like how he's moving so far. I like what he's moving like so far, low key. Like he could, he may be able to tote the rock. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, uh, I see a 93 three point shot. Okay. I'm seeing 45 hall of fame badges, 20 gold badges. I'm liking the movement on this kid though. Like a 93 three point shot is kind of low. The stats that I'm looking at, I'm not going to hold you. Let me, let me run you over to these stats real quick because this is going down for real. A 93 three point shot is kind of, eh. The, the defense is looking kind of low. That's low 90s. I'm not going to hold you. This is looking like a Galaxy Opal card dressed as a dark matter. But for the fact that he's 6'8", I can see why. I can see why they did him like this. I can see why they did him that. I'm not going to hold you. A 6'8", shooting guard, I get it. Spot up three-point shooter, 99 pull-up drive mid. Ah. Uh, 99 95 play discipline so he's going to be disciplined definitely he's gonna he's gonna excel in spot up three-point shooting and drive up pull he can pull from mid so okay i'm thinking with those six he can play my small forward spot but that's if he's gonna be if he's gonna be something better than jason tatum and then i can move jason tatum to what my three spot my two spot i'm sorry i'm seeing steph curry Steph Curry on Justin Edwards. This is not looking bad. It's not looking bad. Pro two leaner. I'm seeing Teron Prince and Clay Thompson up a release on very quick. Um, John Wall's moving step back. He's laced with, okay, 15 dunk packages. Michael Jordan layup package. What is that driving dunk on? Driving dunk is on 95. I mean, okay, these stats are a little bit low. Badges are daunting. I uh, I mean I shooting wise he just needs a few badges, but uh, it's not looking bad. I came up low key. We're gonna see if he fits into what we got going on though. We're gonna see if he fits fits into the game plan because I mean it could be a bust, it could be not. Who knows? Moving into season eight though, we're definitely gonna try him out. Now the situation ha as I see it when it comes to this not the new season, but when it comes to these cards that just came out on the next the next cards. I was under the impression that there would be agendas for these cards. There are no agendas for these cards. I mean, I I mean, hey, I guess we're going into season eight. We have a day left in the season. So I guess I understand. But I mean, it's from that standpoint, it just seems like why make them so expensive? Why not give us a little a little break on these? We didn't get a Bronny James in here. I don't see how we don't get a Bronny James. If he I feel like if Bronny gets drafted actually gets drafted we might get his card this year but i don't know 
I don't know. I, I saw someone in the comment section in my TikTok. My TikTok comment section said that possibly a father-son collection, like a Dale Curry, Steph Curry type of thing, or like a, you know, a Bronny, Bronny Jr. type of thing. You know what I mean? Um, I could see that being a thing. I could see that being a thing. But honestly, I don't know. It looks like a wash from here. The one thing that I was thinking is that, okay, Shaq's son. Shaq's son was drafted by the Lakers. He went into the G League. He was supposed to fight his way up out of the G League. He did have some medical complications. It's all looking kind of similar to me. Hopefully, Bronny doesn't end up in the same type of situation. Or if he does go to the G, he can fight his way out of the G League like some other sons did. You know, Scotty Pippen's son happened to fight his way out of the G League. I believe Sean Marion's son happened to fight his... Was it Sean Marion or... I, I can't remember whose son that was. Josh Smith or... Someone's there was some NBA sons that that did fight their way out of the G League. And we do know that uh I mean most of these young players do end up going to the G or going overseas to do their thing. I mean, we know LaMelo went overseas, did his thing overseas, and came to the league. We know that uh Leangelo didn't just so happen to make it to the league like he was projected by his father and them, but you know, he did do his thing in the G for a little second. We do know that, you know, most of these most of these guys go to summer league and do their thing in summer league, go to Vegas and try to win a chip. So hopefully Bronny can uh, make his way through and get to where he needs to be as far as being in the NBA. And I would like to see him play with his father like his father would like to see. I would like to see LeBron James Sr. and LeBron James Jr. on the same team doing their thing. Just how I mean, that's just what I want to see. That's honestly just what I would like to see out of the NBA coming up this year. You know what I mean? So, I mean, hopefully that does transpire in a in a good fashion, because, I mean, as far as Sharif O'Neal, I was expecting Sharif O'Neal to come into the league and do his thing. And so far, I can't find his name on any of the G League rosters. I do not see his name on the Lakers G League roster. And that just was it was heavy on my heart because I really sat back and I, I hoped and well wished the best for Sharif in his NBA journey. And sometimes things just don't go how we thought they would go. That's just life. That's honestly just life. So that's one way to to say to you guys, you younger guys out here, have a backup plan, not necessarily a backup plan, but have something else that you have interest in, have something else on the docket that you can do. You know, I mean, be a historian, you know, what I mean, be a be a a doctor, you know, what I mean, be a lawyer, be a technician, know something, do something else besides just sports. It's not always going to fall on your plan. A sometimes you have to have something else as substance in your life that you love to do as well, you know, and always make sure that you're doing what you love first and foremost. All right, so with that said, I went ahead and dropped 10 bucks. Drop 10 bucks on these next packs. Or, or we can jump through some hoops and maybe do a splash pack. Nah, we, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I don't think we'll get anything out of a splash pack. Now, we can do singles, but I, I think I want to just go ahead and jump on a 10 base. I mean, just, just because. Just because why not? You know what I mean? We can do 10 base, see what we get out of that. And if we do get something that's, you know, worth it, then it's, it's worth it. See what's going on. So nothing out of pack one, little gold card out of pack one. These base packs, I mean, sometimes they be lit. Sometimes they flip. Who knows? You know what I mean? A little green card out of pack two. It happens. It happens. The draft is going on right now. We get a Damian Lillard and I'm not watching it because I don't have too much investment I'm just going to look for I'm actually going to look look up and see who got drafted later, see where Bronny went, see what's going on with that situation after it develops. Just I mean, I'm just just where I'm at with mine right now. I'm not I'm not going too far off into what's going on at the moment. I got a lot going on myself in my personal life. So y'all pray for me. Let me know in the comment section who you if you're interested in the draft, who you wanted to get drafted, you know, first, second, third, whatnot. And who you think the strongest player out of this draft is. 
Another Damian Lillard is crazy. Honestly, I think that the strongest player in the draft would be your mom and them. I mean, I just have to keep it real. I think your mother and them might be, you know, the top prospect for the year. And that's just what it is. And then as we get another Kyrie, that's crazy to me. All right. And then we end up with 12K, 12K VC left over. So what I want to do with this 12K VC, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, drop it on a season seven super pack. I think that's the move. Drop that on a season seven super pack. That's what we're doing. We're sitting on a bunch of MT just because we want to see what's going on next season. You know what I mean? We want to carry some MT in the next season and see what we get out of that. Wally Zerbiak, unfazed Wally. How much we get off of him? 43K MT. Can we swap him from collection for anything more? No. Okay, so we can't swap him out of the collection. We can't put him into any packs either. We just don't have to sell, bro. It is what it is. So, I mean, hey, appreciate y'all for coming around, sticking around, being down. Like the video, subscribe if you're new. We need a lot of y'all to subscribe. You new viewers, subscribe. And make sure you're liking the videos because as, as I see the likes go up and projections go up, we're going to start doing some giveaways, but we're just not there yet. We get this video to 50 likes, we're going to do a giveaway. If we start getting these videos to 50 likes, we're definitely going to do a video. I mean, uh, we're going to do a video regardless. You know what I'm saying. Stop listening to me. Go home. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.